Hi, I'm Polly, and this is my introduction video for George Brown College. I am a trans girl from Brazil, born in Recife, and sadly, I was not able to change my name legally yet, so that's why Polly is not a name in my application, but this is my preferred name, and since I was a kid, I was obsessed um, with art and artistic expressions. I really love it and my dream was to work with it in the future. Since I learned how to write, I've been creating stories. Here I have some comics that I used to do when I was a kid. A lot of them were fantasy and science fiction and horror stories, which are still today the genres that I love the most. And in this year, 2024, I'm about to publish my first novel in Brazil, which is called Epopeias Nordestinas. This is gonna be a superhero story, but what makes it different is the fact that this time the superheroes, they are from Brazil. So everything is happening in Recife, which is the city where I was born. And I'm super excited to finally release this book. Another thing that I love is music and I love to sing and to compose and to make music. I even had some experience, even before transitioning, I had some experience in studios. Um, I was recording some songs, I was about to release an EP, but sadly the pandemic happened and then I had to cancel all those dreams. Um, but just for a little bit, I still want to work with music in the future, um, but not at the moment. And even though the pandemics were a horrible time and it basically led to the cancellation of my musical project, it also was the moment um, that I started to do a new project, which was a YouTube channel. I have a YouTube channel um, which is called O Show da Poli and it was created in 2021 and since then I have accumulated um, 2.6k followers and also I have around um, 400 plus videos in my YouTube channel. There I talk a lot about my other passion which is films and also TV shows. I've been making a lot of videos um, about movies and TV shows. Um, there are like about fantasy and science fiction and horror as well, and also some drama and romance. And it's something that is really incredible. Um, I think I really created a big foundation of followers and people who actually want to listen what I have to say about films. Um, I really like to analyze films and, and talk about them and why I love them and also um, make some connections between different forms of art. So trying to connect uh, film with literature and film with music and with other kinds of art is something that I really, really love. Um, and I think that even though the pandemics were a horrible time for everyone, at least this is something that I did at the time that makes me feel really, really proud. But more than just talking about film and analyzing other people's films and TV shows, what I really, really always wanted to do was to be able to create my own movies. I have been wanting to be a filmmaker since I was a kid and I have always been a collector. I have a lot of DVDs and Blu-rays, you can see some of them here behind me and I have a big collection everywhere and I remember that since I was a child I really loved watching uh, the bonus material that were in those DVDs and Blu-rays and I love to watch all the behind the scenes and the making ofs. I wanted to see how they were able to make those films happen. And since I was a kid, I knew one thing for sure, that I wanted to be one of those people. It is super difficult to choose just one film that is my favorite. It's really not um, an easy task. But after thinking a lot, I decided that the one that I needed to talk about here is The Wizard of Oz. And I have here, this is my Blu-ray from Brazil, and I love this movie so much. My mom showed me this movie when I was a kid. Um, she told me that she watched it when she was a kid. And basically, it is a movie that since then has been part of my life. The Wizard of Oz was released in 1939 and is directed by Victor Fleming, who also did in the same year, Gone with the Wind. This guy is legendary. And the thing that I really love a lot about this film is that it mixes a lot of different types of art. So basically, it has a connection to literature because it is based 
on the book by Al Frank Baum. And I also love the book. I think it's fascinating. And the book is very different from the movie. So I love to see those differences in how everything um, is, is worked on in literature and in film because they are very different media. So it's a different way to tell a story. And I think this is fascinating. I really, really love it. Another aspect of the film that I really love is that it has a lot of music. So it's my other passion because this is a musical and there are many incredible songs here. I mean, everyone knows the, the magic of um, Somewhere Over the Rainbow and many other songs in this film. I just think it is incredible how it mixed together um, film, literature and music. And talking more about the film from a cinematic aspect, I have to say that I love how The Wizard of Oz is basically a visual spectacle. I think this is one of the most stunning films ever made. Everything is so beautiful. I love the art direction of the film and also the production design. I think all the sets, the costumes, the makeups, everything is just perfect. I think it's really, really beautiful and it's a movie that makes you feel like you are like living a dream, like it's something that is not real and I think that's fascinating. I think that's super beautiful. This is something that I want to be able to do as well, to create an, a, like an environment that is not real. It's all from our imagination, but when the, the viewer is watching the film, they actually believe that everything is real and they feel immersed in this world. Another thing that I love about The Wizard of Oz is the special effects. Obviously the movie is very old because it's from 1939, but I think that the 1930s is a time in film that people were very creative. Another film that, I mean, oh my God, it's so difficult for me to only talk about one film. I just wanted to say that also from the 30s, I really love King Kong that is from 1933 because it's also a film that has a lot of amazing um, visual effects. But coming back to The Wizard of Oz, I love how they create um, all the landscapes of Oz because at that time we did not have um, CGI in the way that we have nowadays and we also did not have the green screen that you can just change digitally what is behind everyone. So to make this film they actually had to paint all the environments and all the landscape of Oz and I just think that all the forests you know and the sunset and the castles and everything they look amazing. I think those paintings are incredible and I would love to be able someday to make a movie that looks just as stunning as The Wizard of Oz. The short film that I submitted is titled They Are Going to Love You and it is a story that is deeply emotional to me because it kind of tells a story about how I'm feeling at the moment. I came to Canada in 2022 to study digital marketing and it was an incredible experience. I loved studying here, especially because I had a lot of amazing classmates. I made a lot of friends. I felt so popular here in Toronto because in Brazil, I wasn't used to have so many friends as I had here. And it was just incredible to meet a lot of people from different um, countries, different cultures and everything. It was really, really remarkable and incredible. But since then, I finished my classes and everyone is kind of going to different directions. A lot of my friends, they went back to their countries. Um, my best friend, Relu, is now back in Mexico. So many times I feel very alone here because the, my group, you know, the people that were there with me, my classmates, not all of them are with me right now. Not all of them are like going in the same direction as I am. So now I feel very lonely. And I'm also, as I said, about to publish my first book in Brazil this year, um, Epopeias Nordestinas. So I also feel very lonely in the process of writing this book, you know? And I know that there's gonna be the moment when I'm done writing and when I publish that people are going to read it. And in this moment, I will not feel so lonely anymore because people, they are gonna be in this world that I created. But the process until I get there, is just like really intense and difficult. So when I had the task of making a video to show what I could do, I was really scared because I was thinking, oh my God, how can I make a short film and make a video and a project um, without people helping me? I didn't have actors. I didn't have people here with me that could actually help me film and make something that was more complex. So I just decided, you know what? I'm gonna tell my story. I'm gonna tell um, what I'm feeling right now, what I'm going through right now, because I think 
this is art, you know, in, in putting our feelings in a project. And that's what I did in my film. I was just showing how I was feeling. And I ended up having the help of one of my friends from Brazil. He's not here with me, but he sent me an audio. His name is Josfer and he's an actor. And I was super, super happy that he was there to help me, even though we are so far away from each other. It was really a great experience. My goal at George Brown College is to learn a lot. And I know that this seems very cliche, you know, you want to study to learn, but really is what I want to do. I want to learn a lot. So I feel that I'm capable of executing all my ideas, that I'm able to make my dreams come true and that I'm able to become a filmmaker. This is my goal. This is the future that I want for me. This is something that I've been wanting since I was a child. And I think that George Brown College is the perfect place to prepare me for this. I was really enchanted when I saw all the materials about how it is, um, the how are the classes and, and how is the environment and the place. And I love that everything is super practical. I saw that you guys use the cameras and we, we actually like do the lightning and everything. Like we are actually doing things. I didn't want to study something that was more um, theoretical, even though I really love the theory of cinema and film and the history of film. This is something that I, I really like. Um, I feel that I actually want to be able to make films. And I think that sometimes people, they study a lot the theory and they become critics and journalists. And I think this is also something um, that is important and interesting. I even had some experiences because of my YouTube channel, reviewing movies, also being invited um, to go to some premieres. So it is something that is interesting and incredible, but it's not my dream. My dream is to be a filmmaker and I feel that George Brown is the perfect place for me to become one. It's the perfect place for me to actually learn how to make um, all those stories there are in my mind become real in a visual media. And that's why I really, really want to go to George Brown. In conclusion, I just wanted to say thank you for watching this video and thank you for considering my application. Thank you very much.